In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I am dearly beloved in Christ, and Father Emmanuel Awea, and all I share with you, the touch of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer, on the Holy Mass readings of Sunday, 18th June 2023. The readings are taken from Exodus 19, 26, Psalm 99, 2 to 3 and 5, Romans 5, 6 to 11, and Matthew 9, that is 60, chapter 10, verse 8. The theme of the reflection is how to enter into the kingdom of God. How to enter into the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, according to Romans 14, 17. How can we enter into this? In the first reading, God made a covenant with the Israelites on Mount Sinai. He asked Moses to declare to the sons of Israel that saving them from slavery in Egypt is enough evidence that, and I quote, if you obey my voice and hold fast to my covenant, you of all the nations shall be my very own, for all the earth is mine. I will count you a kingdom of priests, a consecrated nation, unquote. That means they would become members of his kingdom. That is, they would reign over evil just like he does. However, the gospel shows that the Israelites, especially the Israelites, or particularly the Israelites of Jesus' time, failed in this regard. When Jesus saw them, they were not people who were reigning over evil, but people whom evil was reigning over. Satan and his demons were molesting them so much so that they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. Are we helpless before evil or are we a consecrated people, a holy nation? Moved by pity, Jesus said, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. This implies that those in need are very many, but not many people have surrendered to the Lord enough so that he can use them as his instruments of liberation. Therefore, ask the Lord to pour down more graces of vocation that people may be touched to surrender to him as instruments of his mercy, because the story still similar in our days. The laborers are few, but they have a search. Then Jesus used his apostles as examples of what it means to enter into the kingdom of God. He gave them authority and power to cast out evil spirits and cure all kinds of illnesses. But he said to them, do not turn your steps to pagan territory. Do not go to pagan territory, and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to proclaim the kingdom of God, cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. Then he concluded by saying, you receive without charge, give without charge. All this implies that to enter into the kingdom of God is to obey his voice and hold fast to his covenant. Then he will give us authority and power to cast out evil spirits and heal illnesses, beginning from our families, our communities, before we can go far. And we are to do this not for profit. We are to do this not as a business. We receive it freely and we are to give with our charge. The second reading crowns it all by adding that we were helpless, but by his death and resurrection, Christ reconciled us with God. That is, he enabled us to enter into his kingdom. So we should trust that if we follow what he has shown us, we will become beneficiaries and instruments of deliverance, healing and salvation. What he has begun, he will bring it to completion. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be obedient to God.
In the name of Jesus, receive authority and power to cast out demons and heal the sick. Amen. Kindly share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing all the scars and this message with others. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.